Hey guys, Ivan here. So MPC European Championships, also known as Spain Pro, is taking place right now and this is gonna be most likely your top four. So as you can see right there in the middle, we're gonna have Rolly Winkler and Nathan Diasha and also this guy Vlad and Tim Bodesheim also brought a really good packages, but I think it's between Rolly and Nathan, maybe Vlad even. So Rolly came bigger, fuller for sure. The conditioning is still good, it's still great, and he's bigger, he's fuller, so he definitely improved quite a bit from Chicago Pro. Is it gonna be enough to win? Well, it's definitely gonna be a challenge, because this is a tough lineup, and Nathan really brought it, and Vlad as well, but is Rolly better? Is he improved? Is he on for sure? He looks amazing. Rolly's back is not as crispy as Nathan's, and not even as developed, and the glutes and the hamstrings, overall conditioning, and also the size, Nathan came full and conditioned as, as well, and not so long ago Rolly was dwarfing Nathan on the stage, now it's not really the case anymore. I'm pretty sure Nathan surpassed Rolly, you're gonna see that in a comparison in a moment. I have to quickly mention Zach King Khan, because he failed the conditioning completely, he is basically done, he should retire, this is not good for bodybuilding stages, I think he's in the last callout. Giles Thomas, who is commenting this show, who is a pretty good commentator actually, said so many times that his conditioning is good, I don't know what the hell did he see, this is not good conditioning, but I think he praised basically everybody, he didn't have a bad word for anybody, so... Maybe Zach used to come in worse conditioning, but is this good bodybuilding physique? No, no, this is last call out, he's probably gonna be one of the last spots. David Hoffman, too skinny, too stringy, not good enough for bodybuilding, decent conditioning, he will play, so I guess, fine, but uh, no, he needs to add a lot more mass to be competitive in open bodybuilding. So, back to the comparisons, Nathan versus Rolly, who is winning this? Or is it gonna be Vlad, but I don't know if they would put him on the side if he won, I think it's between Nathan and Rolly, I think that that's gonna be your top two, and I would go with Nathan, honestly, he is more conditioned, if you ask me, and he's not at all dwarfed by Rolly, which used to be the case before, back when Rolly was a beast that was dwarfing anybody who stood next to him. You can see the back, much, much meatier on Nathan, much more detail, much more thickness and density through the traps and the lats as well. Uh, side, uh, side tricep, a good pose for Rolly, but I think Nathan looks better. More polish, more condition, more details, and not a really big difference in size for sure. This used to be a good pose for Rolly, and it's still pretty decent, Rolly has good abs, but look at what Nathan is doing, he, he's teasing him, he, he's challenging him, he's, tell, he's telling no, this is better, and because of the legs, because of the mass, overall the pop that Nathan has, you know, the 3D, the round muscle, yes, I think Nathan is beating Rolly right here, for sure. Only the judges really know what is going on, I can't really tell too much from the live stream, but I think Nathan is winning this show. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more updates of this show, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, all the best, and bye-bye.